Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin continues to stay above 29k, but it seems really to start to be rolling over. We see that um, across the board now for altcoins as well, they are all making lower lows. Um, it's looking interesting pretty much at the moment, at least at the moment, playing out as expected for um, the altcoins that I'm covering. Let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. Um, just a quick update really, because not too much has happened, but the way this is currently looking like is um, that it's currently playing out as um, here on the chart indicated, yeah? So we did mention here the wave four peak back uh, yesterday, yeah, which was also part of this um, Elliott wave triangle wave E. As I mentioned before, typically when you have an Elliott wave triangle like this one here with this A, B, C, D, E wave in yellow, you would expect the triangle to break out to the downside. And that is still here the case and the expectation. After that triangle move here, we broke out of the triangle to the downside. As explained in the previous video already, I do think this was the first impulsive wave down. Yeah, the expectation was at the time to finally break it. We did break it. We moved higher again. Nothing moves down in a straight line, a strong retracement you do expect a strong retracement in a wave two. It was a little bit stronger than I expected, but still within the scope of what a wave two can do. And the next wave down is probably playing out now. So again, first impulse down, correction up. Wave one is impulsive, meaning it itself consists of five waves and it goes into the direction of the trend. And then we had a wave two, which is correcting the wave one. Normally the wave two corrects it quite strongly so it retraces quite a lot that all played out and now we could be here in the wave three down the wave three indicated down here should reach if i remember correctly around twenty six thousand dollars so we can just double check that here let's do that um, from the beginning of the wave one to the low and to the high of the wave two and yeah, we should get to 26,500 here, which is the 1.618 FIB extension. Ideally, we want to get below that. So that wave three here should go definitely below the wave one low, and it should reach the 1.618 multiple. So what we are having here now, if you're wondering why are we going back now? Well, at the moment, it's looking like this is playing out. But if you have something like that, a wave one and a wave two, and then here in the wave three again, you have certain sub waves yeah because also a wave three is an impulsive wave and you would expect it to play out in a wave one in a wave two in a wave three in a wave four in a wave five unfortunately okay so if we take a look at that and if we zoom right the wave one is already done of the wave three the wave one came down to 28.6 k the wave two is probably playing out now um, we could go a little bit higher in the wave two yeah um but let's just take a look what let's just assume the wave two is already done and we go here to the peak of the wave two and in that scenario the wave three of this sub wave so the wave three of the wave three should reach twenty four thousand four hundred and sixty twenty seven thousand four hundred and sixty so i gave you here the target areas now for the next waves all of this would be invalidated um first invalidation point for just this imminent move would be as i indicated in the last video here 29738 and of that triangle pattern actually and i would need to revisit it then that would be at 29850 so at the moment this is playing out um <laughs> i don't know why it shows here the video titles but anyway um it shows you here the extension of that wave uh, of that triangle we are in a triangle pattern, probably completed as indicated here, yeah, with that wave E top. What I need to say about triangles, generally, it is not recommended to trade triangles. I mean, I'm not saying that, that is generally, you find that in the in the rule books about um, Elliott waves and so on, because a triangle pattern oftentimes only reveals itself very late in the process. I mean, this could have been anything here, yeah, and it still could be anything really. But at the moment, you can count it very well as an Elliott wave triangle that that is complete. And then the lower low here below the BD line of the triangle really confirmed. Well, it, it gives us a good indication that the impulse down has now finally started all the way here. You know, as we did not yet before break through that BD line, 
it wasn't really clear. I always told you the 28.6k level is something like a confirmation point. We did break through it, had a very strong retracement, one that was a bit stronger than I anticipated. Um, but it for me still is a very good sign for now that as long as we stay below 29,850 that the imminent sell-off has started. So therefore this is an important support level and a triangle often unfolds and reveals itself very late. It therefore is very hard to trade, very hard to identify as well. And that is why I keep a very close eye on those charts. So as I said, primarily expectation is to go down further, maybe here short term a little bit higher, just a little bit, um, but to go down further then to continue that five wave move down. And in this one, two, three, then wave four and wave five pattern, after we finish that off, we should finish the overall Bitcoin correction off. That is how I see it at the moment, yeah. And a good support level for that would be the 22K level, as I mentioned many times before, the 200 week moving average through which Bitcoin really only, the price only dropped below it a few times um, and it didn't stay below it very, very, very long. So that will be a very important support level and would also match here the Elite Wave count because um, if we want to finish this correction off, we should make a lower low compared to the one here from the 12th of May, which here on Bitstamp exchange is 25,422. Uh, um, but there could be different prices on different exchanges. Yeah, um, But the ones I compared Bitstamp with were pretty much in line. So yeah, we expect here then, therefore the price to reverse down here at some point here shortly and Maybe one last look, how high could the wave two now go? Yeah, so let's take a look at that. Fibonacci retracement levels. It already reached, and that is a very good indicator. It already reached here $29,314. No, let me just make that a little bit more accurate here. Okay, it already reached 29,305, which is the 61.8% FIB level. One of the most relevant FIB levels also for a wave two. In that scenario, it could still move up to 29,495 and maybe even 29,609. That would be really the last level it should go to in this scenario before it then gets down. But here already, we see already a reaction to the 61.8% FIB level, not a very strong one. So I wouldn't surprise if we move a little bit higher before we go down. And if we only if we break above that 29,850 level, I'm going to revise here the overall wave count. All right, that is my view about Bitcoin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and maybe even consider to join as a channel member. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.